what does the insure tech environment look like now in 2018? I know you've been around, I mean, you were probably one of the original insure, insure tech companies before the phrase was invented. And so what, what's your take on how the environment is, uh, where we stand now, and where does blockchain fit in with this sort of explosion of interest in tech and insurance? Thanks, Matt. Uh, well, if you look at the insure tech world as we stand today, we can broadly define it in the three main categories, right? Uh, there's one segment is uh, what we call complementers. Uh, so these are uh, ventures which are going to augment what the insurance carriers are doing today. So let's take, for example, insurance aggregation websites or things like that. Then on the other hand, you have competitors. Uh, so these are insure tech startups which are competing against insurance companies with new business models. Uh, there's uh, Paper Mile, which you might have heard of. Uh, there's on-demand insurance, peer-to-peer -peer insurance. So there are a lot of companies being set up which are going to compete with insure techs, uh, with insurance carriers today by innovative business models. And the third segment would be categorized as catalysts. Uh, these are firms which are focused towards helping improve the way insurance business is conducted, right? So when you, when you talk about the operations world, the technology world, how we underwrite, so it's, catal it's uh, serving as catalysts for the existing businesses. So uh, if, if, if our view is blockchain necessarily would fit into the third bucket, Right. I mean, uh, today I think one of the biggest things in the insurance market is uh, uh, the leakage we have when it comes to expense ratios. Uh, it's very expensive to do businesses, and there's a lot of market-based inefficiencies with the same companies, uh, multiple companies doing the same work. Uh, ch challenges across reconciliations, a lot of money being spent on the back end side of things. So, in our view, blockchain has the potential to disrupt that side of things, and uh, just from a, a, a it, it's unfortunate, but uh, innovation, innovation follows money or money follows inva innovation. That's a bit hard to guess. But as it stands today, most of the venture capital money which is getting funded, uh, which is funding uh, insure tech ventures, there's a disproportionate amount which is going towards marketing and distribution-based startups. So new distribution models, things like that. So that landscape, in my opinion, it, it doesn't work in the most favorable way for us as an industry. Um, but um, more to follow on that, right? And blockchain today, in, in our opinion, impacts most on the support side of things for insurance companies, not as much on the distribution side and um, uh, placement of business, but in time, that's sure to follow as well.